we got road dates coming up, not together, separately, but you know, look, you're you, you, hopefully they're on separate weekends and you can see both of us. And if we're on the same weekend in your town, you're going to have to make a choice. I don't know what to tell you, but I'll be at Helium Comedy Club in Buffalo, uh, January 27th, 28th, 29th. I'm going to be at Bananas in New Jersey, uh, the 4th and 5th of February. I'm going to be at the Punchline in Philadelphia, March 10th, 11th, and 12th. And I'm going to be at uh, in Austin, Texas, at the Creek and Cave, uh, the 20th and 21st of May. And there's some other dates and things that are popping up that I'm not allowed to announce yet, but will be coming soon to a city near you. What's up, guys? Just going to give you some tour dates here. Uh, I will be in Des Moines, um, Indianapolis, and Cleveland this coming weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the 14th, 15th, and 16th, uh, over in California, uh, in San Diego on the 21st, and in Los Angeles on the 22nd. Uh, after that, we are moving to Burlington. Uh, and Foxwoods at the end of the month, January 28th and 29th, and then Detroit on February 11th, Pittsburgh on February 12th. We added second shows to both of those, and then The Egg in Albany on February 18th, second show added there, uh, Capital One Hole in Tysons, Virginia on the 19th of February, and then February 26th, I'm in Madison, and February 27th, I am at The Vic. We have also added second shows there. You can get all tickets at SalvoCanoComedy.com. Come on out. Oh, I forgot to say my website. I'm a f idiot. <laughs> Leave this convinced. part in. <laughs> <laughs> I Leave will. This part in. Oh, I thought he was going to chop these up anyway. I didn't think we were going to. Oh, like I thought we were going together. Um, Joe DeRosa. What is it? Joe DeRosa Info. <laughs> Why is it Joe DeRosa Info? <laughs> it used to be Joe DeRosa Comedy, and then I got a new. I don't know. Guys, just come see me. I'm in a bad way. You know, I mean, you can hear it. I can't, I can't remember my website name. Uh, I'll see you out there. JoeDeRosaInfo.com for all tickets, uh, links, and, and show info, and all that good stuff will be there. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man. Yeah, they come into the mic. I'm talking taste buds. Taste buds. Taste buds. Hi, ho Taste Buddies. It is the Taste Buds Podcast. I am Sal Volcano. And with me today, we have none other than the one and only... Brian Quinn. Brian Quinn is back with us. Yes. I have been enjoying this. I don't want... Again, I don't want Joe to feel bad or anything. No, I know, I know. Q and I used to host a podcast called yeah. What Say You? Uh, it, we started it in, I guess, 2012 or 13. Yeah. And I'm actually looking at the award we we got right there. The, isn't that crazy? We came out swinging. We came out. There's an award I have on my shelf here. Yeah. 2013 Stitcher Award for Best New Podcast. Yeah. Let's say you. Yeah. And uh, we loved it. We, we had uh, our fans are called the Nuggalos. Yes. Because um, <laughs> of, of a demonic honey bear. Hello. that was the, Nugget. Yeah. Nugget. 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 He's the demonic honey bear that was the, basically became the mascot of the show. Yeah. And I think we mentioned it last time. We used to go on field trips. Whatever. It was just, it yeah, was just it was awesome. Good. We stopped down. We only did about a year's worth of episodes, maybe a little more than that, maybe 70. I don't know what it was. We did a bunch. 72, yeah. something like that. Anyway, but it's been defunct. We, 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 we pepper them in once in a while, but we keep talking this about is, it. We keep talking about it, and this is really, this has really been fun because yeah, we haven't done this awesome. in so long. It's good. Well, it's just like it's fun because like there's very few people in the world that I have, I mean, you and I have worked so closely together for so many years, and you're my best friend, so it's like you, it's like 30 years of really, like, I'm not really close to many more people than you, you know what I mean? Right like, on, yeah, yeah. So it's like, it's just fun to get to, like, it just doesn't even feel like anything. It's yeah, like, like just it's a like, blast. Yeah, it is car because how often do you also sit down with a friend and then just carve out time for straight talking with no interference? You don't yeah. really do that. You know, even if you're yeah. at a bar or you're at a, you're at a house or you're at a, whatever, the, it's usually not just, like, chopping it up straight. So oh, this is fun though. It's like I come over here, we like we chill out. We, we I know this. This I have you on the bat phone. Yeah. You know, there, nice. something goes down with the rose and he can't do it. I'm like, Q, can you make it? And he's like, Yeah, this is great. What's that line from uh uh from a uh, uh, wedding singer where he's like, DeRose is losing his mind and, and I'm, I'm reaping, reaping all the benefits. benefits. <laughs> <laughs> he was so funny in that John uh, Lovitz. Uh, Lovitz, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. When he's like Shaka Khan. <laughs> oh God, where did he go? He had that comedy club in L.A. for a while, and then I haven't yeah. seen or heard. How was he not a comedy legend? I, I would say that in, in circles, he's you know he's 
he's old guard. He's a I don't I don't see him around much. I don't know how much he does now, like actually getting up and if he's working on his act. But I, I would say, well, he, he is, is a comedy old, legend. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. I, I I I I misphrase that, but I was like. Remember how much before he died, we saw Robin Williams everywhere. I thought you were just going to say, like when you said, remember though, before he died, I was like, John Lovitz. No, 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 no. But right. like, I feel he should be on like the level with like, uh, yeah, with like. Uh, yeah, I don't know about Robin Williams. I think he's like. Yeah. I think he's stratosphere. Yeah, I guess I, that's how I saw John Lovitz maybe. Yeah. But as a kid. He but, always cracked me up. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's out there. He's doing shit, right? Yeah, he's in stuff. He's in. He's in. He has six projects, seven, eight projects. Oh, right, well, oh my god, look how many projects he has! Oh well, there we go. We're just not keeping up with him. I, I, I always I like him. Yeah, he's he's working. You think he was just like? I mean, there's no way to really. He's on tons of TV. He is he a dick in real life? Oh, I don't know. Have you heard any stories? I have never really heard any stories. No. Can we see? Uh, I think if you if you Google is John Lovis like like I think there's probably a story about everybody out there. Uh, looks like him and Andy Dick aren't getting along. Well, I mean, who yeah. gets along with Andy the Dick? I think Andy Dick feuds with a lot of people. Does he? I haven't yeah. seen Andy Dick in a while. Last time I saw Andy Dick was in person at a club in L.A. and he was getting thrown out. Really? Yeah. I always feel like Andy Dick has a way about thing. He does things that make me laugh. I always was always nervous to meet him because yeah. I don't know. He just seems like a a true wild card. Yeah, you know, like he might bite you or like piss on you or yeah. like or insult you. But maybe that's not his mo. I'm not saying that he would do that. Right. But who knows? I don't know. I think he was. I think he's. I think he has the. Uh, he has, he has. He's pegged with what the rep what would be called a volatile personality. Yeah. 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 That's what I was heard about him. I don't know. But well, there he is, Andy Dick. <laughs> well, God bless. We wish you all well. Yeah, it does of remind me of DeRosa combined with DeStefano. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh man! Oh my God! Andy Dick is DeRosa combined Oof. with DeStefano. Andy Dick, jeez, look at that hair. Uh, wow. But yeah, he one of those like method guys. Is that why he gets on the people's skin? I think he was just really into drugs for a long yeah, time. I yeah. think that's. I mean, when, when when I was, we were at a club with uh, Andy Milanakis. This is how long ago oh, this was. Yeah. Like, Andy. uh, Andy's great. I haven't seen him in like fifteen years. He just moved to Astoria. Oh, d he's back. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So I, I actually think I reached out to him to be to be a guest on this. Yeah. I think I did. He said anytime, I, but it was over COVID. I think we were going to do a Zoom, and then it fell apart. But he's really like, uh, he has a lot of knowledge on sushi. Yeah, uh, oh, Andy does, yeah, 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 yeah big oh, time, yeah. So, how did you guys meet Andy Milnakis? I knew Andy before he twenty years ago. Oh, really? He, when he was oh, wow. he was hanging out in Jersey with this group of friends that I was just before he had the TV show, wow. before he had the Andy Milnakis show. And when he, we always thought he was first of all, he's so nice. Oh, yeah, Andy, great guy, but he's just very funny. And then, like out of nowhere, uh, Lynch was telling me, like, uh, oh yeah, Andy's got a TV show on MTV. And we're like, we like, it didn't even. <laughs> Like, there was no, like, I didn't understand, like, I was like, and I was like, yeah, I guess he did things on YouTube or, or. Yeah, I think he was also at, like, in UCB or he was, like, in the in the world. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not saying he didn't deserve it. I thought he did. As a matter it fact. just came out of the field. But yeah. it was literally, like, Andy was here one day. We went to that Greek restaurant with him in, in probably Astoria years yeah. and years ago. Yeah. And then I heard he moved to. But I like when people do that better than telling me what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. And that was it. And oh, Andy's so funny. I still remember the theme song to his uh, show. I. I I got peas, peas on, on my head, head but, but don't call me a pea head. Yeah. Peas on my head, but don't call me a lee head. Yeah. Now, please excuse me. I got to get my wow, tree, you tree really fed. Know it. Yeah, I sure. hang out with an apple who loves self-loathing. Yeah. I hate myself. <laughs> remember that? Remember that? Wow, yeah. I love that yeah. show. I love that he show. used to get big names because that's when MTV was blowing up. He used yeah. to get like huge names. Like yeah. every single black hip hop eyed artist. On and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He, I remember he did a bit that I always liked uh, that was uh, like he would have pizza delivered and then tie he himself to a chair. <laughs> I was like, I feel like it's the fucking... It's the, and then he would drop the pizza and then he'd be like, the money's over there. Yeah, he'd be like, could you put the slice in my mouth? He's going... Could you? And the pizza guy was always this fucking guy who probably didn't speak English. And he was just like, uh, all right, man. And like, it was so funny, man. I have a couple of distinct... Andy uh, memories. <clears throat> One time I felt really bad. He had, I think he had just gotten the show and he was staying at, like they put him up and he was in LA at the Standard or something like that. Okay. And we, we were a group of us, Lynch was with us. Oh, we were I hated out. that hotel, the Standard, but yeah. Yeah. We were hanging out and um, Andy was so nice. So we went to, I guess we were in his hotel or whatever, like, and we were in the lobby or like, I guess it's like a, a scene. Yeah, yeah well, back in the day, scene, that's, yeah. that's, that was it. And uh, Andy's like, oh, you know what? We'll just put it on my, my tab because MTV, you know, got it for me. Oh, or no. So just we ordered around the drink. So I was like, oh, all right, you sure? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, I'll have a margarita, I said to the waitress. Yeah. And she goes, Cadillac? 
And I went, sure. Yeah. And I guess like, I didn't really realize it then, but a Cadillac is it's like the most expensive. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then this, this was like I I I got to think this was. I don't know. This has had to be like fifteen yeah. years more. This is about oh, more. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Anyway, when they brought the bill over and he went to sign, it, I saw it, and the my drink, my one drink, was thirty two dollars. Oh, and this is again like twenty years ago. Like I, we didn't have money. No one. Yeah. Had money. I, didn't have, I I would I would look at that now and say, "Excuse me, you made a mistake." Right. I felt that better so, be. I felt a, a so six hundred bottle of wine if you're talking. Yeah, I felt so bad. Yeah. But a funny thing actually, because I just got you to start watching Succession. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't just get you to, but like you, no, no, you're no, loving you, it, right? Yeah, you got me to watch it because I heard it, and you kept saying you gotta watch it. You gotta watch. You it. watch? No, no. Oh, I it's, you gotta it. watch it. It's so good. It. I'm good, halfway man. through the third <sighs> season. It's, it's good. Yeah. Uh, so one time, I don't remember the circumstances. Andy was, or oh, maybe he lived in New York. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he lived or we visiting, we were hanging out one night. He was with some friends. I was with some friends. We met up. We we're bar hopping together, and we went yeah. to this uh, bar in the Lower East Side called Something Shots. It was it was there a long time. It was a dive. All right. Like we've been there? We've been there. Yeah? Yeah, something shots or whatever. It was It wasn't like the down the hatch was, area. No, no, uh, that's yeah. west. This was proper LES. Okay. Something like I I mean, I wish I knew the name, but it was like it was a, you always like would end up there or like whatever. Sure. We went on this place. Pretty dead. No one's in there, right? Mm. We go and we sit at the bar and we're with like five, six people. We get our drinks and I turn to my right, the only other person in there. <laughs> at the bar, drinking alone, Kieran Culkin. Get out of here. Yeah. Now, again, this was 15, 20 yeah, years ago. Yeah, when he was just so, no, I, knew him, I think he might have been in like, it might have already been in like Igby Goes Down. He got, I, I, I think I knew, he was already acting. Yeah. It wasn't just like, I knew who he was. Okay. <laughs> but I didn't. God, he's so good. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, so good, right? So good. But uh, I didn't know, I wasn't going to bother him, didn't know what to say to him. Sure. I, I'm not one to approach anyone. Send that man a Cadillac mar <laughs> yeah, yeah. margarita. But, um, but I noticed it was him. That's it. I don't think I said anything. But I think he lived in the hood because he knew the bartender. It was like, it almost uh, was like the bartender, he was a regular. Okay. Like he was like, hey, yeah. and they call him by his name. And then I don't know if he had a, and, um, and I remember he goes, let me get one more shot. And so we, we were doing shots. We had just walked in. And I think that like, he was annoyed that four or five people walked in and were drinking. Like, I think it was like, His he was in the bar, zone. And yeah. Because yeah. I, I remember like, we said, so someone said a joke. I distinctly remember this. And, uh, and, and then, I caught out of my eye that he rolled his eyes to the bartender. Really? Then I felt like it So dick. he's like Roman in real life. No, I don't know. I mean, we might have been obnoxious. Or yeah, oh, I'm fuck. sure. Right, I don't, right, I don't yeah. think we were, but I think I saw him roll his eyes and I felt stupid because I was like, oh, like, 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 I, I like this guy. Like, I, I'm a fan. Like, I'm just like, oh, did I fucking do something? Like, did someone do something to piss him to annoy him? So he just quickly did his shot, left the money and walked out. So I was like, ah. Oh. You That's know, a like, bummer. Yeah, I don't think. I he mean, he knew. wasn't a dick. No, no, he wasn't yeah. a dick. He didn't know I saw it, but whatever. So I was like, ah. Then, uh, then a little bit later, we left to go to another bar, and we were walking oh. down the avenue, whatever avenue it was on, a or whatever the hell, and and then he was walking past us the other direction. He had gone to the store and bought a six pack of Heineken, and he was carrying it uh, going back the other way. So I guess he was just going just wanted to drink alone. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't. Know. I used to go to this bar called Smalls where they let you bring your own. So maybe it was a situation oh, like right. that, or maybe just going home wanted some beer. <laughs> but um, yeah, I didn't even make like like the other. Like, <laughs> Sorry, no sir. Contact. <laughs> I hate that feeling. So there was yeah. uh, so you were out with Andy. Is that what you were saying? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how we got into. I know we, we didn't. We, shout out Andy Milnock. Oh, yeah. Andy, yeah, 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 good guy, nice guy. But how do we get? I don't know. I forget uh, how we got to this point, but we have a lightning round. Uh, yeah. Andy Dick to Aunt, to Milanakis. Yeah, who knows? Uh, but right, we got well, a lightning here round. Here we go. Okay. Let's go. Uh, welcome to T-A-S-T-E -E -E Buds. Buds. Okay. And today we're doing a quick lightning round with the theme of, we have a carnival yeah. uh, fair type of theme, right? Mm, yeah. Carnival fair. And so we're doing three battles. It's going to be a lightning uh, lightning battle, three rounds. Uh, so we're doing Cracker Jacks versus Crunch and Munch. Sure. We are going to do Cotton Candy versus Funnel Cakes. Yep. And we're going to do a Haunted House versus Roller Coaster. Right. So we got a little theme going. We'll start off with, I say we save that one to last. Okay. I want to start off with... Uh, oh, how long do we have? Five minutes. Five minutes, okay. Five, five is five or eight? It was five, but All we can, right. we can let's do, do five. whatever Let's do five. All right. Okay, okay. Start I do whatever with, you want. Do eight, we'll do eight. Uh, let's do, let's DeRose do eight. is usually the one who enforces this five minutes. Uh, okay, Yeah, because like, he'll go, and then I'll be trying to get mine in, and he'll cut me. Shut you down. <laughs> okay. That's the whole point of the lightning round, though. You go fast and furious. Got you. Okay. And you know we love that. Yeah, we do. <laughs> All right. Fast and furious. One, one quarter mile at a time. That's it. 
Dom Toretto. <laughs> uh, you want to do a Cracker Jack Crunch and Munch? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Would you like to start or shall I? Dealer's choice. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think that Cracker Jack was the original, and yep. I think that they got lazy, mm-hmm. and I think that they did not adapt to the times. Well, what is a Crunch and Munch? Break, break that down Crunch and Munch for me. is... Similar to a Cracker Jack, it's sold in... It's buttery toffee. Well, well, you'll find Cracker Jack more so... You'll find Cracker Jack in a supermarket, but you'll find Cracker Jack at sporting events and concerts. Yeah. That's a plus. Crunch and Munch, I don't think you'll find there. You'll find them mostly in the supermarket, but it is the same exact thing, except they adapted to the times. And I also... What do you mean they adapted to the times? Well, let me finish my everything. (laughs) Cracker Jack, uh, they... They have gotten shinsy over the years uh-huh. in all three departments. Okay. Okay. Four departments. Four the departments. The box is smaller than it used to be. Mm-hmm. The caramel coating on the popcorn is, if I'm telling you it's sparse. Yeah. I'm being I'm being kind. Okay. <laughs> it's I. If you get a handful, you still see all the specks of white all over those kernels because they are not coated. Okay. Okay. It's a light coating. Yeah. Peanuts. Peanuts are the cheapest nut. Yeah. They give you peanut quarters or peanut halves. Yeah. They are not, there's so little caramel coating on the Cracker Jack that the peanut does not stick to it. You're looking for cluster. That's what they use the big ammo. You get both in one bite. Right now, if I open a box of Cracker Jacks, there are eight measly peanut halves (laughs) at the bottom of that thing. You got to shake it. and I got to pick around the peanuts anyway, so that's fine for me. You do. You don't like peanuts. That's right. I'm sorry. Am I supposed to be letting you go? No, you could do. No, no, no. no, You could jump in. You cut me off. You could shout at me. Oh, all right. Yeah. I just, I just, one question. What prize comes with a crunching munch? Well, let me tell you something right now. Does any prize come with a crunching munch? Fair enough. I knew you would take that stance, but. Of course I take the stance. That's the whole Cracker Jack thing. In this day and age, in this day and age, I think you should look in the mirror. Because what prize comes with a Cracker Jack? They shit the bed there too. No, they They got got little books. They They got got tattoos. No. They don't have tattoos? Not anymore. I think it's for shit now, the prizes. And we used to be excited. A tattoo? I love it. Yeah. They still got tattoos. They They got little books. They don't do it anymore. They don't do it anymore. The new prizes suck ass, Dude, if I may say so. What, yes, please just find that now. But first of all, the peanut means nothing to me. I got to pick my way around the peanuts no matter what. Yeah, but the Cracker Jack is, to everyone out there, is, is it, it, their, whole, their whole business model is peanuts and nah, caramel. No, Cracker Jack's business model is childhood and joy. Crunch and Munch doesn't deliver that to you. I, I go for a Cracker Jack. I remember coming out of school, walking to the Pops Meal Mobile, ordering a Cracker Jack, eating the, eating the caramel corn. You got me on nostalgia. And getting the thing. Right. But nostalgia can only get you so far. But you, <gasps> but look you, at this. Someone even did it. Look at Okay, look at that. The, the you, Cracker Jacks are on the right. See that picture? Pimp, throw this up too. Yeah. Cracker Jacks are on the right. See the big holes of caramel missing? You see the, four, see the same holes on the left. The four measly peanuts at the bottom? The no, same no, 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 holes no. are on the left. Look, the my same friend, exact my friend, holes. If you have a Crunch and Munch, your balls will be blown off. I you don't. will never go back to Cracker Jack. Crunch and Munch, you literally have to break off like it's a brick. They coat it so well that, that the That's popcorn- That's too much. No, That's going to get stuck in your tooth. You're going to go chew you, you it. Go moderation. Down. Okay, it can hurt a you, tooth. You're going to get- So you, now I got no. now I don't even have anything to do in the dentist office because I got no prize. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm, I'm there with a busted tooth. You, I can't believe you don't know Crunch and Munch because let me tell you what Crunch and Munch did. They will take not only caramel, they'll yeah. take toffee. They will take other- other sweets to yeah. coat, and they will also switch up the nut. Oh, don't they spray shit on almonds. me and tell me it's perfume. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> look, buttery toffee with popcorn and peanuts. Go to all the cr- c- chocolate and caramel. Okay, uh, this just sounds like insecurity. They're no, putting out. Br- no, no, yeah. Give me, give me. There's, there's one with almonds. Dude, this you, is you gotta, embarrassing. Just, just, just Google Crunch and Munch for me, man. These people are the master of nothing. You go to crack. Look, what you've just told me is that when you go for a bag of Crunch and Munch, you don't know what the fuck you're going to get. Not true. You don't know whether you're going to get caramel. 12, you don't know where you're going to get this nonsense. 12 that nonsense. flavors I of go crunch for Crack and Jack. I know what I'm getting. I know how it's going to taste because it's tasted that way for 50 years, and I know I'm getting a nice little prize it out of it. It used to taste better when we were kids. Right now, if I do succumb to a Cracker Jack purchase at a ball game- Succumb? Yes. If I do, <laughs> I'm always so you're, like- you, Wait, I'm you're always, saying Cracker Jack has nothing for you? Not any longer. No, I'm telling you right now- Get out of here. Dude, I'm, first of all, I can't- You've never had Crunch and Munch. You no, I've never you, had you, Crunch You can't and even munch. argue against it. If, if I, if, if I gave you Crunch and Munch right now, Price. on your first mouthful, Price. you would go, I get it. I get it. This is better than Cracker Jack. Prize. It's all about the prize. I, and you know what? There's nothing. You, we shouldn't even be eating Crunch and Munch at our age. It's <laughs> over for us. Okay, I will tell you right now that back in the day, yeah. maybe the prize 
you could skirt squeak out a win on the prize, but the prizes have changed. No, the tattoos and little little joke books now, man. Well, they, you got no, no joy. No, when's the last time you did it? I had crack. You haven't had a joke book. Is it five minutes? Yeah. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Oh, five, five minutes. We got to move on to five the next minutes. lightning round. I guess All that's right, that's, five that's minutes. I'm telling you, they have twelve flavors of crunch and munch. This is what DeRozan. I hate to be a DeRozan. DeRozan come on, man. Shut the fuck up. I'm going to follow the rules. Or we, this is, society's breaking down. I, I'll tell you what. If, if yeah. unless crunch and munch is a regional candy, I Bro. think crunch and munch is going to dominate the polls because. I'm telling you, nostalgia can't get you over the finish line. Dude. People who have tried both. Okay. Nobody's is, doing that. Nobody's doing that. This is my declaration. Uh. If there is a human being out there that has tried both, <laughs> okay. they will never take Cracker Jack over Crunch You cannot say that. I think you have that. a 99% you ratio. You shouldn't say things like that. I, when we you go, to, when say we go like to the polls. Because you have a show here based on opinion and uh, you, you're damaging your credibility. You say shit like that. Oh, DeRosa and speaks become, in absolutes all the time. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. That's DeRosa. I'm talking about uh, you. I'm not concerned about him. I would venture to say that when we go to the polls, yeah. when we go to the phones, yeah. I think that you'll never, you will not see a tweet that says, you know, I've had both. And I like Cracker Jacks. You don't think you'll see that tweet? When I get, to, I'm never satisfied at the end of my Cracker Jacks. I'm never satisfied. It's a temporary, like, this is better than nothing. But at the end, I, I don't, th my socks aren't blown off. This fan wrote in, this poll's for old people. <laughs> <laughs> crunch and munch is for kids. Dude, crunch and munch is not, it's not good. Look at that. Crunch and munch tastes like packing peanut and cardboard, had a baby and tried to salvage it by dousing it in caramel. That's not true, but guess what? They did not say anything about the Cracker Jack. Oh, they might dude, have, come on. But you're going Every to the polls already? <laughs> Oh wait, we're going to the polls now. I, I was just oh, let's through. do polls after each one because okay. instead it's a it's a thing. Uh, yeah. Dude, I think you 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 you're too comfortable in life. All right, you're in your ivory tower. You forget how exciting that fucking prize is. <laughs> you forget how exciting that prize I'm is. I'm telling you right now, every day is a prize for you. Okay. It's not that way for everybody else. To our viewers, some people only get prizes from Cracker Jack, and you're trying to take that away from it. Okay, to our viewers and listeners, sound off if you think the prizes have took a hit. If you think the prizes are shit. If they were better when we were younger, or let me know what your prize was Look in the it. comments the last time you ate Cracker Jacks. Because I'm telling you, it ain't gang. All right, let me ask you something. The, the the song is not "Buy Me Some Peanuts" and "Crunch and Munch." The song locked in American society is Buy Me Peanuts and Cracker Jack. And that is oh, since the 1930s they've been singing. And that. I know. And in the 30s, Cracker Jack. This is Jack, communism. In the 30s, Cracker Jack was a big dick swinging. Yeah, it still <laughs> is. It still is the big dick swinging. But not anymore, man. It is still in the song. Not it still has the price. Look at what says Americana. Look at this. A sailor boy not with a, his dog <laughs> on a baseball with a red, white, and blue box. The, Come going, on, man. Not a, not a clue what either of these are, but a quick Google has me questioning why on earth have Cracker Jacks <laughs> let a 10-year-old boy join the Navy? No, that's not what happened, you idiot. Who said that? <laughs> that is not what happened, <laughs> Chloe. I take it back. You're not an idiot. Listen, th that is not what happened. His father... Is in the Navy. And his father tell went me, Tell me right now that you're not making this and up. I'm not making this up. And you know father, this? Of course, it's Cracker Jack. You know the backstory, that yeah, boy? Everybody does. How do you saw the back? I didn't. Oh, well, this is what we're talking about. Oh, I need to know. I need to know. Yeah, it's Sailor Jack and Bingo is the name of the dog. Sailor. Oh, my God. They're from 1916. They Come on, man. What are you doing? Sailor Jack was modeled at the Robert Ruckheim. Grandson of Frederick, blah, 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 blah. Sailor Boy image acquired such meaning for the founder, Cracker Jack. He had it carved onto his tombstone, uh, which is in Saint. Nobody is ever putting Crunch and Munch on their tombstone. Even you won't put Crunch and Munch on your tombstone. <laughs> Oof. Oh, go to the trivia. What does the trivia say? Okay. Uh -huh. In 1912, toy surprises <gasps> were first put into every Cracker Jack uh, box. What's that? The tradition Just... continued until Frito Lay stopped the practice. That can't be. I'm telling you, that there can't... are no more. That's my, that, that, can't was my, be. that was one of my big complaints. I forgot it. I knew it was like. It's got to be back in. I, it's got to be back no, in. No, because I remember I was at the Yankee game with Lederman, and we got Cracker Jacks. They were on the arm. It's got to be so back in. I couldn't in. even complain. I couldn't even complain. And then I was got to the bottom like, yo, where is the prize? And they were like, no, they don't do prize anymore. I'm like. Uh, that was all they had. All they had was the prize. Digital codes. Give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. That's rough. Digital That's rough. codes. That is so. You're gonna you're gonna have a staple yeah. from 1912 that yeah. still exists with the with the same label today, and you're gonna you're tell right. people to go online you're right. and punch in a digital code. By the way, to get what? You're right about that. You're right about that. 
What are they going to give you on a digital code? An NFT? <laughs> uh, 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 of bingo? And Take Me Out there. to the Ball Game was written in 1908. Oh. oh. 19 Wait a minute. Hold on a second now. The the last article said it was founded in 1916. Yeah. This article said they started putting toys in in 1912. The next thing says, "Take me out to the ball game" was written in 1908. Oh, they probably they probably adjusted the song. I imagine like once Cracker Jack came out, I bet you Cracker Jack was named after that, and then it got adopted into the song. I don't know. 18. Oh, oh my God. Jesus, dude. Take it back, Cracker Jack. Was founded in 1896. I mean, it's your dad's. It's your, it's your grandfather's. <laughs> she said it was for old people, but she, yeah. she doesn't know what she's talking about. Because do me a favor, Google uh, Crunch and Munch. The beginnings of Crunch and Munch. I gotta tell you, Crunch and Munch Jack, was out when we were kids, by the way. Yeah, I never, I never liked that. I don't even like the name of it. Uh, I will say this, Cracker Jack, if you're listening, and I know you are. Oh, he's getting a link on that. <laughs> You got to get them prizes back in, guys. I, I I predicated my entire argument. I came to this knowing I had the prize in my back pocket. You guys are giving me digital codes? Okay. Okay. Guys. I will tell you right now guys. that it, it's nothing to slouch out, crunch, slouch at Crunch and Munch, but it yeah. came 70 years after Cracker Jack, and it was started in 1966, which I didn't know. Let me read this. In 1980, uh, okay, blah, 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 blah. In oh, 2004, in 2004, How about in 2004 that? the New York Yankees baseball team replaced Cracker Jack, which has a strong molasses flavor. Stronger. With, stronger Not molasses strong. flavor. Stronger. With the milder buttery, ah, buttery crunch uh, and munch mild. in home games. The club switched back to Cracker Jack after immediate public outcry. Oh. I'm telling you, you're not going to win this. Cracker Jack has a place in the American heart. Yeah. yeah. My fear is that people aren't going to know what Crunch and Munch is. <laughs> My fear is that people aren't going to know what Cracker Jack is. <laughs> you want to do it right now? Yeah, let's, let's do it check it out. I think we'll do it now. All right, let's do it right now. Where are you going, Pimpy? You know Crunch and Munch, Pimp, or no? I do, but I've never had. Okay, it's so good, guys. Come on. It's going to be Cracker Jack. Votes. It has to be Cracker Jack. <sighs> yeah. Oh, my God. That's DeRosa DiStefano uh, <laughs> spreads. <laughs> it's almost exactly. <laughs> All right. All right. At the 5,400 votes, yeah. we got Cracker Jacks coming in at 62.3%. Drum roll. I didn't do it. Crunching months at 37.7%. <sighs> yeah. I'll take the win, but with the caveat that Cracker Jacks got to listen up and, and get those prizes yeah, back in. Yeah. That's a shame. Okay. That's a shame. That's something else. I, I, I want Crunch and Munch now. <laughs> Let me tell you, the ones with the almonds. Yeah. Ooh. I'll give it a shot. That sounds good. The problem with it, honestly, the problem with caramel covered popcorn teeth, teeth, is I will just not stop eating it. Mm. I know. I, don't, I have to pick the peanuts out, but I, I won't stop eating it. You know it. what I haven't had in a while? You know those tins that look like a goddamn oil drum? Uh, yeah. With the, with the three That's partitions? That's what I'm talking about. I, I had that cheese. a couple of months ago. Yeah. What is it? It's butter, cheese, and caramel. That's yes. what it is, right? It, it's Exactly, it's but it's using caramel. And I had that. It's got the cardboard three-way yeah. divider. And that makes those shits. And, uh, oof, my God, I just ate the whole thing. Yeah. It's disgusting. Yeah, they give it to you in, like, literally what looks like a, it looks like a five-gallon bucket. I hate to say this because we're recording this two days before Christmas. We have to, uh, you know, I don't know if you want to. Yeah, yeah, pull yeah. behind the curtain. Yeah, all right. And, uh, I, you know, I spend, I, I spend Christmases by myself because I go to Pennsylvania to my parents' house. Yes. And then I come back because of cats. And then I'm not driving all the way back there. It's two hours. I do Christmas Eve. I, I do Christmas by myself okay. every year right? for, for a decade now, Christmas right. by myself. I am this year going to hunt down one of those three tri-way popcorn things. Ooh, and geez. you could rest assured that my Christmas will be spent working my way through that <laughs> and watching the new Matrix. If one of you guys has that in your home right now, yeah. tweet us, Taste Buds, Ooh. popcorn uh, bucket. Yeah. I want to see you eating it. Uh, you hit that up. I, you know what I think you can get that? I think you get that at the, like the Christmas tree shop or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They probably have a display in Absolutely. the front that looks like a pyramid. They sell oh. it at like Marshalls. Can Amazon yeah, over... <laughs> can, 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 can Amazon overnight it to me? Uh, I know. Actually, I know you love popcorn, right? Uh, Do we ever put popcorn I against love anything? popcorn. Do we ever put Popcorn's popcorn against favorite. anything? No, I don't no. We did pretzel versus potato chip, right? We did movie snacks, but you did. We didn't do caps. cheese doodle. We did. We did pretzel versus because he loves popcorn. I I'm not a huge popcorn fan. Really? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I I eat it like four nights a week. Oh no, I, love I eat it. it. Yeah. It same. gets stuck in my like mm -hmm. in, like you're always like oh there's this thing I can't get out in your teeth and then oh, I taste yeah. it for like hours after. But you get chips without chips. Do you know you get a crunch uh, without the? Yeah, yeah. Maybe a healthier option. I mean, what? and also when it's buttery, what, what? you got it? Yeah. How much was it? It's twenty five ninety nine. 
25. I was going to say, I was going to say, I bet you you're getting ripped off at 11.99. Oh, well, there's it's also, overnight. well, I had to do with everyone that could deliver right away. That was the problem. <laughs> oh my God, it's just popcorn. Where there, do they get the there's balls? There's so many because it's all about, because we're so close to Christmas. I have to, I have to. There's, a, there's a late run on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just triggered him into this purchase. I said, yeah. I'm not regretting anything, man. I am, I'm watching Matrix and housing this thing in my fucking bread box on, on Christmas. That's, well, that's the be other me. thing with popcorn. I don't like it, but when it is buttery and salty, oh. I'll eat that fucking full bucket at the movie theater, yeah. and then I will hate myself. Oh. Well, movie theater popcorn is not really that good for you because it's all coconut oil, and it is it is like one bucket is like 2,000 calories. Oh it's probably good. more. You get an air popper. Even if you want to cut have that. half a stick of butter, it's still, it's still like 400 calories. You could douse Spread it Spread across the whole thing. Put some salt you on it. You know what? I got an great. air popper, and I have... I just got a... Uh, I just ordered mm. a gourmet batch of Amish like popcorn. Oh, you got quite what? a... You got hell of yeah. a night ahead of you. Yeah, I did it for the holidays. Yeah, right? it's all nice. Right. That's nice stuff. All right. All right. Well, so then the I'll report back. All right. I'll report back. Sally, babe, we're here for the ads. It's good to see you. We haven't been together in a, in a minute. It's been a little minute. We've had the holidays. Yeah, we have. And after today's episode, I'll be back in that saddle right next to you. Are you looking forward to that? Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, we're supposed to record to, tomorrow again, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. I You've been opening gonna... a business. Speaking of businesses, can I talk to you about all birds, babe? <laughs> Talk to me about all birds and but oh, but more importantly than all birds, talk to me specifically about their wool dasher mizzle. Well, it's uh, it's cool that you brought that up, but because even though we are in a wet, chilly part of the year, running are still a part of people's lives. Maybe not mine and yours, you know, <laughs> but the wool dasher mizzle is a weather repellent performance running shoe. It's the first shoe of its kind. It's sustainably made from natural materials with a low environmental impact on the planet, because that is where we should all be going right now. Ideally, uh, you know, look, here's, let, me, let me explain something. I have a pair of all birds. I got my dad a pair, my mom and my, my grandmother a pair, because I got them before I really knew what they were. Uh, and I knew about the company and I put them on. And I could not believe because, you know, my feet are they're done. They just <laughs> they're just a bunch of mixed up bones in a sack of flesh down there. I have no arch and I, I wear or custom orthotics. <laughs> I tried on all birds, dude. I swear to you, they were light, breathable. Yeah. And they were so, I, my feet don't hurt when I'm in them. So I it's just I was like. like it's almost like remember when remember when that craze was happening where people were wearing the the, the like the like toe sock things yeah those shows yes. that with every fo Yo, foot your foot yeah and you looked like a lunatic walking around in those things and i but they were comfortable i feel that all birds has found a stylish way to feel that comfortable the, the dash your missile the, the big thing about these is i don't actually have these but they are uh they keep the feet warm and they're weather repellent so they're really good for the winter months Yes, yes. Uh, I think that's great, uh, especially if you live in a city or in a cold weather uh, environment like New York gets in, in the winter. It's great to have a shoe that's warm, but also comfortable and not a big clunky boot. So, I mean, that's the thing, man. That's how you got to do it. You, and have you run in them? Do you want to do you want to run in them? Yes, you well, do. Will you yeah. run in them? That's up to you. But I can tell you, <laughs> if you want to run in them, they will perform for you if you perform for them. They meet Absolutely. performance needs. So, so this winter, keep your feet cozy and dry with all birds, wool dash your mizzles. Discover your perfect pair at allbirds.com today. That's A-L-L-B-I-R-D-S dot com. Taste buddies, what's up? It's ship station time. Now, you guys might not know what ship station is. This is you could do if you have a business or you got to mail stuff out from home. Mm -hmm. It's basically like having the post office right in your house. Mm -hmm. You can use all forms of, of shipments uh, from home. And it's a lot cheaper than using them in person. Uh, a lot of businesses use this for the holiday rush they had. Even though there was shipping delays and supply shortages and all the holiday demand, it was a mess. Mm -hmm. um, but ShipStation was one of the solutions to that. And now with the new year coming in, guys, you got your impatient customers. They want returns. There's expensive shipping rates. What you're going to do is check out Ship ShipStation. Ship, ship, Joe. Ship station. I can attest to how good this service is because I, in Ship fact, lived, I lived in a post office for some time. <laughs> and it was the most convenient time of my life. Well, so it's nice that now Ship Station is bringing the post office home to me. I love right. the time it saves because I, I mean, there's nothing worse than going to the post office. Let's be honest. I mean, it's up there with the DMV. 
you know, so station is the easiest and most yeah. convenient choice for all you e-commerce sellers. What you're selling out there, e-commerce people. We're going to yes. start selling merch. Exactly. And maybe and maybe we're going to start using ShipStation, as a matter of fact. Yeah, there you go. You can save money. I've used this service for personal reasons, and uh, it, it's just been like I said, there's just nothing. I hate standing in lines. I hate how much it costs. I hate then this takes away all of that and lets you do it out of your house. So trust me, whether it's professional or personal, you want to use ShipStation, use the offer code TasteBuds to get a 60 day free trial. That's pretty weird. That's two months free. No hassles, you know, and stress free shipping. What, what, what more do you people want? Go to ship ShipStation.com. More, ship more in less time, right? That's yeah. what they get. ShipStation.com. Click on the microphone at the top of the page and type in taste buds, of course. ShipStation. Ship station. Make, make ship, ship happen. happen. What do we got? We're going to cotton candy versus funnel cake next. Okay. I, I feel you're going to lose this one too. Man, because funnel cake is oh, nothing know, man. more than just fried dough. <laughs> but what is better than fried anything, and especially fried dough with powdered sugar? Right. So but, you're taking cotton candy. Yeah. I'm taking funnel cake. Right. Please go ahead. Okay, here's the thing though. Funnel cake is just, it's the fried dough, delicious, with the put sugar on top. There's also 20 variations of that at that same carnival. One shaped like a star, this one's shaped like this, a dagger, Zeppoli, this one's Zeppoli all these things. There's oh, nothing there's special to it. There is only one cotton candy. That's it. You're not, you're not getting your substitute any other way. Well, when you call them different, they're different shapes, but there's only one fried dough with powdered sugar. I mean, they can be right. different shapes, Yeah, but, but you, it's still the same item. Well, no, you've chosen funnel cakes. Okay. So I'm just saying, a funnel, there's nothing special about a funnel cake. There's a Zeppelin. There's no the proprietary, next thing. nothing proprietary. It's just fried dough, I man. Think, I think, you can make it at home. I, I can't make some fucking cotton I think candy out of anymore. all the fried dough with confectionery sugars, I mean, we're from New York, so I yeah. think Zeppelis are sold at pizzerias. They put them in a brown bag and they shake them like they do at Cafe yeah, Dumont. Yeah, it's whatever. beautiful. They, what do they call them at Cafe Dumont? They don't call them Zeppelis. Uh, beignets, right? Beignets, yeah, beignets. <laughs> so yeah. it's all, all the same, same thing. thing. Yeah. Right. Here's the thing, though. If you were going to make like a fairy tale world, the clouds are not made of fried dough. Fried dough. Nothing says fair, carnival, childhood, freaky. It's so out of the wheelhouse of your everyday experience, cotton candy. It, you see cotton candy, you know you're in a fun place. I would argue the same exact thing for funnel cakes. Come on, man. This is this is the this is a carnival lightning round. I, I where where do you get a funnel cake if not at a carnival? You can make funnel cake downstairs right now. I can make cotton candy. How can you make cotton candy? They sell the things to make it. What the machinery? They sell them. Yeah, you can't. So all aka, right, you on, can't make right, cotton candy. On. First of all, they sell spaceships. First of that all, doesn't mean anything. First of all, funnel cakes are hot. Yeah, that's a huge plus. To What's me right better on a hot summer night? Than a hot fucking no. fried dough in your gullet. I love. I think funnel cakes are the superior product out of all fried dough treats. Okay. It comes on a paper plate. It fits the whole plate. It's fun. It has delicious. All, it's, it has all the interlocking laces, so the texture is different. the The powdered sugar gets in all the nooks and crannies. Yeah. It's fun to break apart and eat piecemeal. Yeah. It's warm. It comes fresh. Usually, when you order a funnel cake, you don't. It's made to order like a cotton candy. Yeah. No, not necessarily. They spin that. Ah, they put them in those fucking bags and they hang yeah, them from the roof. Yeah, but you could also get that. You could also get funnel cakes like that too. Who's ordering a funnel cake pre-made? You're getting it hot. Oh come on! They have they, hot, they have them stacked fresh. up in the in the in no, the in the glass cases. No, no, no. no You're no, telling no, me that no, nobody no. has funnel cakes stocked up in glass no, no, cases? No, no, no. The point is that That's they are crazy. hot. They have to be eaten hot. In an in a in an ideal situation, I will grant you that the Carnival Association of America will make sure that all of your funnel cakes are hot. But I don't think that. That that quality control is going on to you're talking about carnies I, I, guys I, who forget to put pins I, I would and have rides. To strong disagree. I think you you order a funnel cake to order. They dunk it in, the, in that thing. They pull it out and they put the powdered sugar on. They hand it over and there's grease on the plate because it just fried. Yeah, but more often than not, more often I, I feel you're being disingenuous. More often than not, part of the cotton candy experience is that. All right, hold on. Let me just finish. Is that nothing I like about the funnel cake is yeah. there? You can grab a piece that has got extra crispy that has a crunch to it. Or an undercooked piece. I even love the undercooked, more doughy pieces. I love well, the difference nice. in texture. Uh, you know, you could shake the sugar off to, to if you want to, sure. to control the sugar intake. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I, I, I there's variations. Okay, so because sugar, if you eat all that sugar, it's too much. Right. But conversely, cotton candy is 100 percent pure sugar and yeah. nothing else. Well, it's dreams. And it's, oh. it's joy. It's childhood joy. 
You I know? think cotton candy is the biggest scam ever. Come on. You I put it in your mouth and it, and, it, and it melts. I know. It melts like it was air. Like you oh, never really so bought nice. anything. It's so they puff experience. it up to make you feel like you're getting a real deal. What are we it's talking stick, about? The cotton candy goes like this and you're like, as a kid, you're like, oh my God. Of course. And if you want to... Grab it all in your fist and squeeze it to this big pop in your mouth. It'll be melted in five and seconds. And how great was it when you could discover that? Like that was a, an option for cotton candy. You I, could stick your mouth in it, do I, that, and let it melt in. I, you could. I, what are you talking okay. about? Puff. You get, you get in there. You get the little puff. Okay. It is a, it it is a fun it. tactile oh, experience. on your fingers a little bit. I'll give you that. It's a fun tactile experience. It's pink. It's but, green. It's blue. But I, I hate the stickiness. I hate it on my yeah. fingers, and even more so, I hate it around my lips. And then you, yeah. it, it doesn't go away. You have to get find a water fountain, or you have to find a wipe, or like a, a, a. So you have an issue with cotton candy being messy, but not funnel cake. Yeah, I'm talking about like <laughs> I don't you know, need it, this right it now. It looks like you have dandruff <laughs> all yeah, over I you. Can, I can dust off powdered sugar. Yeah, the cotton candy is that shit. And, and if you eat it as an adult with wow. a beard or a mustache, wow. you're done. Nobody you has done. ever described a funnel cake as whimsical. <laughs> no one. But I guarantee the, that even you funnel. could not disagree that cotton candy has a certain whimsical element to it. That life is, life is, we all need a little more whimsy in our lives. We you all do. You get fooled by the dye. You get fooled if, by the dye. The dye's part of it. Cotton candy was just white. It was but just, it's not. I know, but like, I think. But it's not. I, I don't I give think, a shit if cotton, it was this and if it was that. I think cotton candy is smoke and mirrors. <laughs> That's what I think it is. They puff it up. They put it in a big bag. They hang five it there. Minutes, Thirteen the seconds. The cone that it's in gets all melted. And the disgusting. cone you can pretend is a witch's nose after you're done with it. It's <laughs> oh, phenomenal. It. Get your nose sticky. A family of four could go in on a funnel cake. A family of four could absolutely <laughs> go in on cotton candy. Of course they can. It's more sustenance, though. At the end of the day, I mean, I'm not trying to fucking day, feed my family. I'm trying to have a good time at the but, fair. But what's, what, where, where's the value? Where are you getting more bang for your dollar? A funnel cake has some weight to it. Oh, uh, a you're, funnel you're, cake. You're eating, you're eating glorified air is cotton candy. You're eating pizza without the fucking cheese and without the sauce. With a funnel cake. It's just fried dough, man. It's not the there The balls you. they have to charge five bucks for something like that. You're making that up. You don't know that they charge How five much bucks. do they charge for cotton candy? They don't charge don't, less than five dollars. I don't know, but I'm not Four, stating three. it as if I do know is my point. You're buying the experience, man. Come on. You don't really feel this way about it cotton candy. It also gets old. You can't you know be this miserable. Cotton candy, <laughs> cotton candy first bite. Fun. Yeah. Cotton candy. 15, 16 bite. Yeah. I don't want it anymore. Okay. What? Yeah. How you, you? But the whole funnel cake you'll eat. That's no problem. That dough just. I think it's hard not to filling your thing. stomach. I know. I'm not saying I don't. You know, I, I shouldn't eat the whole thing. I, I don't know, dude. And sometimes I know the like the grease on the funnel cake also soaks in the the sugar a little bit and makes it a little molassy. Cakey. Oh. Yeah, I don't really like. Oh, that. I like that. Uh, it's not really my thing, man. I like I like whimsy, man. I like whimsical experiences, and for me, cotton candy and the the witch knows afterwards. Give it to me. All right. Now, the one yeah. anti-cotton candy thing is it was invented by a dentist. I saw that, which blew my balls off. I like dentists. That's a hustle, though. I know. Oh, that's like, all right. what you, yeah, you know what they were doing? They had they had full appointments that, that year that they invented it. <laughs> when they invented cotton candy, they were also giving you, like, cocaine for headaches. So I'm not sure, like, that was the time. I think you're going to lose this one, like, hard, dude. I know, because I think people have an affinity to cotton candy that they don't yeah, have for funnel cakes. Yeah. But if you're really asking when the chips are down, what's better, I think it is funnel cake. Well, all right. You want to I don't know what even that means when the chips are down. <laughs> I don't know what chips are going on. Go to, we're going to go to the phones. All right. Cotton candy is like eating hair. That's also true. Except. I don't like that. It's like, except it dissolves and you get to eat even more. That's great. I've never understood why anybody likes it. <laughs> Funnel cakes are too much like pancakes and pancakes make me nauseous. I would like the powdered sugar off it though. But look it. For that reason alone, I'd choose cotton candy. Mm. Nothing's better than deep fried dough. It's true. It's and true. And getting powdered sugar. Let me tell you something right place. now. Funnel cake was so good. They're like, can we wrap this around things? What do you mean? And then they wrapped it around hot dogs and they wrapped it around Oreos. Deep fried. They deep fry everything. They wrap what, it. You're talking corn dog? Yeah, but they also have. Well, that's cornmeal. Oh, all right. Maybe I messed up. Don't they also do? <laughs> don't they also do like funnel cake mix around a hot dog? I don't know, man. I don't. I don't. I don't know enough about funnel cakes. Sure aside that. Yeah. Uh, well, whenever you deep fry those things like Oreos, yeah. it's all the heavy lifting is because of the funnel cake and the powder. Like those deep fried Oreos are just glorified funnel cakes with Oreos in them. You, well, I'm getting lost here. I don't know what, what, what you only deep fried. I don't Oreos. know what your angle is. Yeah, you can't, you can't make a deep fried Oreo if you don't have all the trimmings of a funnel cake. That's why I don't? Yeah, okay. So I'm just saying, what like, do you mean? the Oil? funnel cake is so good. 
No, no, no. They when they deep fry an Oreo, they put it in the the same batter as the funnel cake. Yeah, but as we've pre- previously discussed, that batter is in many things, not just funnel cake. Yeah, so but it's, not- it's 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 funnel cake's exclusivity. It's the proprietary blend. No, 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 no. No, we you we started this whole thing off by saying that the thing that makes up funnel cakes makes up many things. In my in my eyes, so the it's a cake, beignet mix. It's not a funnel cake, cake and the mix. The beignet and the zeppoli are the same exact no, thing. But no, no. What I'm telling you is, it's such a good uh, thing right. that they're like, "What can we wrap this in and deep fry that too along with it?" Uh, DeRosa, Popcorn. What? DeRosa would disqualify this argument a hundred percent. Really? I think he would. I'm Why? gonna speak for DeRosa here. I think he's he's he would say this would be an add on. <laughs> It, 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 he is, he is, but like, he, he, but 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 it allows me to bring up cotton candy flavored uh, uh, gum, oh. ice cream. Also, they they've translated that. There is cotton yeah. candy flavored ice cream. You know. Yeah. Okay, Birthday I get that, cakes. but I am not arguing for the fried Oreo. I'm just saying that the funnel cake is so good that they took the. Bed. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm just saying that. Okay. Cotton candy is so good that they've they've spread that around too. Cotton candy is for children who need a sugar rush. Funnel cake is for adults with taste. Okay, adults with taste at Carney's. <laughs> you got you. Thank you. If you're over 10 years old and you eat cotton candy, you're a serial killer. <laughs> wow, that is fucking harsh. Funnel cake's all day, Wow, uh, maybe I'm going to get my fucking ass kicked here. <laughs> Funnel cake, you can have more often at occasions and such. Cotton candy, you'll get at the wow. local carnival once or twice a year. Oh, wow. that's an argument for cotton candy. It's more, you have it less. Yeah. Cotton candy is what terrible parents give to their terrible children in hopes they'll be less terrible. You have a very judgmental <laughs> audience here, man. Oh, they know to weigh in with it. They, they know yeah, that do not hold their opinions back. Wow. I, right, I, I, I thought to, I had this, and now I feel like I don't. We're going to go to uh, drum roll, humble pie. Uh, we got 8,000 votes right now. Pimps weighing in with a funnel cake. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. No pun intended, but how sweet it is. <laughs> Oh, I'm hot. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, you're not God. hot. You lost the first one. Oh, my God. It's a drubbing. It's a proper drubbing. Oh, wait. Drubbing. No, you won the first one. No, you won the Chris Stefano one. You won the Chris Stefano one. Uh, yes. Yeah. You won the last lightning round, though. You just won with Cracker Jack. Cracker Jack won. But I will won this. say that in our last few episodes, actually, okay. um, but this is uh, uh, over the episodes you and I have done so far. Yeah. This is the biggest margin. 70.6% to the funnel cake, 29.4% to the cotton candy. Now, why do you think that is? Why do you think? <laughs> I'm, I wasn't trying to be smarmy. I was like, why would it be weighted that heavily uh, if, if we thought cotton candy was going to have the same attributes as Cracker Jack? It was going to appeal to the nostalgia, yeah. the, you know, and, and it, you know, it's, it, it, it is a carnival food. It is. Well, it, yeah, it, it I, is I think perhaps quintessential. Maybe cotton candy is just limited. In, in, in what it offers you, whereas perhaps funnel cakes offer more. Just offer more. Okay. All right. You know? Well, here we go, because the lightning round is tied 1-1. One, one. So okay. the overall match will be taken here in the rubber match, Okay, which is going to be the- I don't ro- think- Please. I don't think we told each other that we'll still love each other, by the way. Oh, we'll do it at the very end of the app. Okay. Yeah. I no. love okay. That. I love right. that. I was worried. Did we do the chance at we all? We did B-A-T-T-L-E, buds. Oh, no, we didn't do. All right. We did DSTE buds. Yeah. Really, DeRose is the driving force of the chance. Oh, we can ignore it then. No, no, no. I'm saying that's why I'm falling off. Oh, okay. I'm disrespectful to DeRose, I think. Right. So we just 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 did it. For the the rubber match. Yeah. Okay. We are ready to B-A-T-T-L-E buds. I, I wasn't ready. Okay, <laughs> and I don't. I never know whether you're going taste or battle. I, I, I taste I, up top with the pause. Battle okay. later, no pause. I always forget to. Okay, good. But we did it. We we'll got end it. with the chance. All right. <laughs> so, whether it's saving more and spending less, or getting organized, or losing weight, or whatever things and goals and resolutions we set for ourselves at this time of year, every year. All right. Top of the list for me, something new. Yeah. Babble. All right. We've been talking about Babel for a minute, but now is the time more than ever. You want to learn that new language. You want to stick to that New Year's resolution mm. to expand your horizons. Now's the time and you can do it with Babel. It's sold. The, the company sold more than 10 million subscriptions. Yeah, it's an app on your phone. It's a language learning app. Uh, they make it fun. They make it so like you could actually use it and feel like you're Instead of just mindlessly playing a game or whatever, it actually feels like you can have fun with it and learn the language. That's kind of what I like about it. It's engaging and they, they teach it in ways that really are 
applicable. It's not just like drilling memory, which I, which I like a lot about it. And we talk about it all the time. There's 14 languages and it was created by language experts, where some of the other apps, they use AI. So it's a different experience. And the lessons are distilled down to 15 minutes, which I do it like a lot of times I'll do it on the, on the uh, subway or, you know, just if I'm in an Uber, I or whatever, thought that I'll was going to get a little crass for a second there. And then you said subway. Uh, <laughs> the old subway. Uh, plus the uh, speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent. I think that's a big part of it. I think a big part of people feeling intimidated to learn a new language is them feeling that they won't be able to do the pronunciation and, and the accent correctly, or, or you feel a little self-conscious, you know, because it's, and new, it's not, it's it's new not ter territory. It's also not just the lessons, which I don't know if we talk about that a lot, but you can access podcasts, games, videos, live classes, and a 20 day money back guarantee. So there's no reason not to try. You have nothing to lose right now. When you purchase a three month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months of free. That's six months for the price of three. Just go to babbel.com and use our promo code taste buds. That's mm -hmm. B A B B E L.com code taste buds. Babbel language, language for, life. for life. Right. Sally, babe, it's the new year, and I want to talk to you about Headspace. I want to talk to the listeners about Headspace. Uh, do you ever feel like your mind doesn't have an off switch? I have a feeling the answer is yes, Sal, because I know Absolutely. mine doesn't. Absolutely. <laughs> you guys hear what we argue about on this show. Imagine what the brain is doing in our heads when it gets into the serious topics. I'm in a mental prison. <laughs> True. Life sentence. Uh, you can sometimes have this manifest through your body too. Like I'll feel the tension. I'll feel tired no matter how All much day. I sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get into these, 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 I don't want to call them routines. They're almost ruts. Um, and you know, these are just a few ways that stress and anxiety and sleeplessness can, can, can harm the mind and the body. And it's just not a place you want to be. So it's a new year this year. Why not make the small change to your daily routine? Uh, these small changes that can have huge influences on your mental health and well-being. That's what Headspace is here to do. <laughs> we all say fine when we don't really mean it. I know I do. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, Go fine ahead. isn't really an emotion, is it? How many times have you told yourself fine when you're really all you've really felt is anger or sadness or nerves? Headspace is scientifically proven to help you manage your feelings and your mental health. In fact, a recent study proved in just two weeks, Headspace can reduce your stress by 14%. Yeah, it's great. Whether you want to relieve stress or anxiety, sleep better or improve focus, Headspace is your everyday dose of mindfulness for real life. Whenever I'm feeling heavy quotes, fine. See what I did there? Yep. Uh, I like using Headspace's appreciation course. It, it, it instantly makes me feel a bit happier about what matters in my life. That's what I think is great about... Um, a service like this is because so much of our lives is focusing on, especially in the culture we live in is focusing on the things that we don't have, the things the other person has, what's missing from our lives. It's unhealthy. We're scrolling through social media and all these things. And we're just seeing everybody's hashtag best life selfies and whatever. And it can really start to get into your head. And one thing that Headspace has helped me with is appreciating what I have, realizing what's important. So however you're feeling, try it out. Just try it. You might not even realize you're having some of these issues. Headspace, give it a try at headspace.com slash taste buds. You're going to get one month for free of, uh, off the entire mind, mindfulness library. So I don't see what you ever have to lose here. One month free. This is the best Headspace offer available. So go to headspace.com slash taste buds today headspace.com slash taste buds it's appropriate now because this is down and dirty it's the yeah, third it's a tie-breaking match i round. think i got this we're doing roller coaster versus haunted house again to go with our carnival theme uh q is taking haunted house i am taking roller coaster discuss you don't hear a lot of people dying in haunted houses one Two, I worked at Sand Lane Amusement Park for two summers, and I, I, as a 16 year old child, was in charge of maintenance on both those rides. And I could tell you that those fucking roller coasters are not safe. <laughs> okay, they're not safe, and they're being they're being uh, the, the carny type ones. Uh, they are being uh, you know maintained by children like myself. Oh, the oh yeah, the carnival ones. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I guess that's a that's a good po point to make a good distinction. Uh, you're not talking. You're not talking. 
rolling thunder. No, no. I, I right, assume. So although I, you can, I guess. I take rolling co- roller coaster as any. Okay. But yeah, I know those carny ones, sometimes they fold them out of the back of a box oh, truck. Oh, it's insane. And they're not even weighted properly. Yeah. And, like, and then, then they, they just shake go, And yeah. I think that's part of the problem with roller coasters is because there are the greats. Yeah. But. All the other roller coasters are kind of riding on the great. Some of the roller coasters, seriously, oh, doesn't they hurt your neck when you're on them? They like, can, uh, but I think that's part of the battle. Uh, yeah, I've gotten whiplash on a couple. Yeah, uh, that one. What's that one where? Uh, I don't know. My head slammed. I mean, I jacked myself up on yeah, a few. Like great adventure. And I actually went one time to uh, Hershey Park where it was like um, the evening already, mm. so it was like a limited like pay a little bit, and nobody was there. Right. And so I was able to go on every roller coaster they had, which I think was seven <laughs> or eight, within like no within under an hour, That's and I was vastly <laughs> nauseous. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't understand that. that it was, your equilibrium is gone. Yeah. And look, I like a roller coaster. I do. But there's something to a haunted house that is otherworldly, and they could tell a story in a haunted house, and 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 like. Well, now you now you go into like a Disney haunted house because if we're talking yeah. a carnival haunted no, house, let's uh, talk pros and cons. If you're gonna take a shot at the box truck roller coaster, right. the carnival haunted house, you're right, is a shame. Well, it not is, all of them are. It's a horn, a flashing light. Not all of them. Air blown in your face. Yeah. You know, like a, a strobe light comes on. There are some it's, miserable ones. There are some miserable <laughs> ones. That is just like you go in a corner and they've dangled some strings on you. And I guess, but we can, we can agree that there's a bottom level on, on both on of both. these. All right. But I think the general one is like you go to the Jersey Shore and it's on the boardwalk and it's a little bit better. You know what I mean? Like it takes you around. They do. Yes. Yes, the Disney Haunted House is obviously the ultimate version of that. Let's discount that. They still do manage to tell you a story and manage to give you an experience where they will scare you in a way that roller coasters won't scare you. Well, roller coasters... So this is an interesting dichotomy because they both offer thrills yeah and they both offer scares yeah for different reasons yes so i guess it could be preference but what i'm saying is first of all i don't like haunted houses you don't i'm scared of them yeah uh, I, i'm not scared of them but i don't like being jumped i don't like when someone jumps out grabs my ankle yeah. jumps out of nowhere scares me i think it takes i think it takes a, some years off my life sure <laughs> okay i am afraid well, that my yeah. reflexes will i will literally punch someone yeah I I don't like it because I get a, a headache because my adrenaline is pumping so much. Mm-hmm. And look, I will say, though, there's nothing like that feeling when you... Well, you could be walking into one or you could be on the trolley. I assume the trolley we're talking about. As yeah, well. Yeah. But there is nothing like that feeling when you hit past those swinging doors <laughs> and then it's open. pure darkness. Yeah. That's a good feeling. But that is a good feeling. Does that match the feeling of... Tick, 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 Great tick, feeling. tick, 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 and that feeling where you're plateauing yeah. right there. I mean, that can a haunted house with all its redundancies of boo yeah. really match all the different permutations that a roller coaster could take you on, both in loop-to-loop, drop, yeah. speed, uh, torque, uh, um, theme? Yeah, uh, theme's important, but I feel like... Everything you've described about roll, I I love the tick 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 tick. I love this. I love this. <laughs> After that, I'm like, I get me off this fucking thing. Like my head hurts. I'm like, I I don't know. It's too fast. The loop the loops. Everybody's screaming. I'm getting nauseous. I don't know. There's something about it. Even a bad, even a bad haunted house thing. There's a feeling to it that you're connected to something bigger than yourself. Like these carnies have been running this bullshit scam on everybody for 150 years. And like it is just a shitty mask that comes up with the light up, but it's part of something. It, it's part of Halloween. It's part of like just like I love the cheapness of it. I do love it. Whereas <laughs> I, roller coasters, I don't know. I, well, where can you get the thrill of a roller coaster in your life other than a roller coaster? It's a one of a kind thing. Sure. Okay. And again, I'm saying. The the variations you have. There's roller coasters that go from zero to 100 miles an hour in five se- three seconds. That's not fun. That's not pleasant. It is. That's pleasant. There's ones that go straight up and straight down. Sure. There's ones that go a- looping. There's ones that loop backward. There's ones. What about the way in which you lock in? There's ones okay. where you go Dangle. where you're sitting and it's just a bar. There's ones where you are, you know, you're sitting and you're locked in yeah. from the chest. There's ones where you're just in the chest and your feet are dangling. Yeah. I mean, there's ones where you are laying on your stomach so it feels like you're flying. Okay, but I will say that largely haunted houses are are you and your friend or you and your sweetheart experience with roller coasters. If you don't get that front seat, man, 
Like then you're just staring at the back of someone's head, mm-hmm. and that that's a harsh thing, man. Because that front seat to me is the only good seat on a roller coaster. The back coaster. is too. Okay, you can make the argument to the front yeah, and the back, but yeah. that still leaves the vast majority of it is you're crammed between people screaming in your ear or you're looking at the back of someone's head the entire time. I like that experience of you're in the dark with your friend. If you're with your girl, whatever, you could grab hands. She's scared or he's scared, whatever we want to say. Like, I like the, the, the grabbing on and stuff like that. I don't know, man. Like, it's a more fun experience than just like let's just blast you out as fast as we can with a bunch of strangers i also want to pile on this there's no line for a haunted house there's never a line for a haunted god house. damn it pimp <laughs> yeah yeah well no but, but check yeah. this out we are now we went to grand scale roller coasters let me bring up the cyclone cyclone the cyclone it's a rickety wooden one yeah and a lot of the fear is coming into uh not just the ups and downs but will this fall apart or not yes and it yeah. is as instilled in coney island and 100 carnival yeah you know life as as yeah. a haunted house yeah it's it's the end all piece the most famous roller coaster in the world maybe yeah but i've been on it three times in my life and i don't need to go fourth because it is not a f- See, comfortable I can't ride go. i cannot go why to coney island without getting on the cycle get out of here what's the point <laughs> That's what? the number one thing I'm doing if I go there. I'm crossing it off the list. I'm getting some Nathan's wow. going on the cycle. Nathan's, I'm there with you. On your percent. I'd rather do one of the freak shows. I'd rather spend my time doing something that I couldn't the freak shows are, are do fun. anywhere else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. And, but not not I'm not here to disrespect the cyclone. I love the cyclone. <laughs> I'm with it. It's the oldest wooden, right? Wooden well, one in the world. Pimp just pulled this up. And if you thought Cracker Jacks was old at 1896, yeah. oh my God. Oh, look at I didn't even know it was. On June 16th, 1884. Whoa, that's before Marty even went back in time, man. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. 12 years before Cracker Jack was even a, yeah. a, a, gl- a glimmer <laughs> in someone's mind. The first roller coaster in America opened at Coney Island in Brooklyn. Wow. Known as Switch B- Switchback Railway. It was the brainchild of the Marcus Thompson. Traveled approximately six miles an hour and cost Wait, a nickel to Are ride. they claiming that's a cyclone? Well, that's just the history of roller coasters. Oh, okay. Maybe that's just... Well, it was at Coney Island. I guess it became the Cyclone. Yeah. <coughs> but I didn't realize that the, f- the first roller coaster in the world came from Brooklyn. It came from Coney Island. Yeah. Look, ghost houses... I think this is a good point, too. Like, ghost houses do have a lot of, like... There's the technological good ones. You know what I mean? They have the Pepper's Ghost where you see the illusion of the ghost on the thing. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. There's something... To me, if I had a choice, I'm just saying I like a haunted house. I like the story. I like the darkness. I don't like at my age get my head knocked around left and right. I don't like waiting in line with kids. I, I don't have like hurt people. my neck. Yeah, like where I I hurt it. Yeah, where I was like I like it was you know when you when you when you tweak it for the whole like couple days. Yeah, haunted. I will say, Pim, go back to that. I just want to give a little history on the haunted house because we haven't been doing a lot of that. Uh, one of the first recorded purpose built haunted attractions was the Orton and Spooner Ghost House, which opened in 1915. In how would you pronounce that? Lip Hook. Lip Hook. What a England. great name! Closely resembling a Carnival Funhouse, it was powered by steam. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, man. I think this is. I I couldn't tell you. I, all right, I think more people. All right, I think more people are gonna like the roller coaster. I agree. I, there I there are like there are people that their goal is to go on every roller coaster. Yeah. There's roller coaster like clubs. There's roller coaster stats. There's yeah. I don't know. I think roller coasters are more ingrained in people. Yeah, I think they're wrong though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's the same. It's largely the same experience over and over again. Okay. Okay. I, I feel. All right, pimp. Where are we at? Uh, we're at fifty minutes. Five zero. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the phones. All right. All right. This is the rubber match, the big tiebreaker. Feel free to, to read some. Okay. Haunted house because I'm the exact opposite of an adrenaline junkie, and I'm comfortable that the actors in haunted houses aren't allowed to actually touch you. Okay. She took it in even another direction from yeah. we were talking carny ones, but she okay. T- but also. She's not an adrenaline junkie. My adrenaline gives me a headache after a haunted house. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it. But, but I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> My girlfriend's service dog handles haunted houses better than most full-grown adults <laughs> commenting on this. Single-handedly set my choice because of how cute it is. Haunted house is just the unemployable with face paint. <laughs> Why not, are they unemployed? Well, they have jobs. <laughs> not scary. On a roller coaster, you might actually lose your life. I don't know if that's a plus or a Chances minus. Chances of me getting decapitated are marginally less in a haunted house than on a roller coaster. So I'll go haunted house. 
I'd rather piss my pants going in a loop de loop and shut down the <laughs> ride rather than piss my pants and risk someone else slipping on it. See, now here is not perfect. Are we saying their names or no? Uh, sure. I got to go with roller coasters. Outside of the Haunted Mansion at Disney, most haunted houses are pretty hokey. Now, She's that is one that's not getting it. Right. Right. The hokiness is, for me, part of it. I understood. I understood. Yeah. The thing with haunted houses is you have to find something to make fun of or joke about to enjoy it. If not, you're scared shitless. Oh, okay. That's positive, positive. Yeah, though. yeah. Uh, haunted house is a dog shit. <laughs> Worst holiday exclusive to ever be created. <laughs> Who the fuck willingly likes to scare themselves? If I want to scare myself, I'll just look in the mirror. What is up? Dude, is everything all right? You're way off base on that. Whenever people oh, wow. love him, he has a strong stance. If I want to shit my pants, may as well do it without <laughs> having a severe anxiety attack. I know for the most part, I'm, part, I'm safe on a roller coaster. In a haunted house, no one's safe. I will start swinging. Me too. I'd rather feel like I'm going to die in a haunted house than know I could actually die on a roller coaster. I mean, people are split. Yeah. People are I, split. This could go either way. I can't fake being scared at a haunted house and can't fake not being scared <laughs> on a roller coaster, but it's a lot less awkward on the roller coaster. Whoa, here's a fucking indictment of you. These aren't even comparable. You two are stretching now. Do they know? Are we not allowed to? Do? This is a very judgmental comment. Whoa. But then well, they answer it. Yeah. Roller coasters are worth, the, are worth the adrenaline, but a haunted house is great to watch someone literally shit themselves. So they had an opinion. Yeah, and they didn't make it clear which one. Yeah. Fuck a haunted house. <laughs> I walk around scared all the time already. <laughs> Ditto. Yeah, it seems pretty evenly spent. Evenly split, man. I'm very curious about this. I don't think it's going to be a blowout. Both make me throw up and shit my pants, but at least a haunted house is easier to collect myself. Roller coaster all the way. I'd rather pee myself happy than scared. Guys, this is split. I yeah. thought I thought roller coaster was going to take it. <coughs> Let's go to the phones. We have over 8,000 votes. Uh, drum roll, please, Pimpy. P throw out the humble pie, the stats. Pimp is choosing roller coaster. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Well, it wasn't Oof. indicative in the comments. No. It was Damn. not indicative in the comments. Nearly the same margin as can Cotton Candy Funnel Cake. We have Roller Coaster at 71% and Haunted House at 29%. Wow. Which means the rubber match I got. So I got you two to one on this one today. Yeah, you did. You got this one. I mean, Jesus Christ. You know what, though? It's like we said to DeRosa uh, recently. The, um, the Haunted House people are my people. I got that. And I'll just roll in with them. That's what all losers I say, right? That. We just comfort ourselves with that You're shit. We're both thrill seekers. Yeah. We're both yeah. thrill seekers. If I had to choose, it's the thing is, I'm, I don't want to go in a haunted house because it's working. Now I guess, like, I came here and now I got to go home and, like, feel bad about myself for losing. Yeah. I don't know how you could go home you, feeling. Now you, actually, you, I, think you're, you're, I think sitting in that seat makes you absorb DeRosa's quality. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's something to it. <laughs> Doesn't the Stefano sit here too? Can I like grow three feet and start speaking German? I, I, I just don't do haunts. I don't want to be yeah, haunted. you never like haunts. I don't like haunts. I, I, I like jaunts. I seek haunts. You seek haunts. I like haunts. I yeah. like a good haunt. Roller coaster is more of a jaunt. I wish that like I would see a ghost or something like that. It would be amazing. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, no one's ever seen one. No. <laughs> Yet haunted houses are still scary. They're fucking fun, man. They're so much fun. I like that shit. You remember the one at Sam Lane? Did you ever go on that one? And I that was an example of the it. worst. Of that was where I grew up on that. Yeah. That was the one I was talking about that is so lame. Oh, it was it's bad. Hysterical. You described it exactly. You go in, there's a strobe it's light. It's a circle. It, it's just... They, 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 the right operator, and I would know because I, I was one of them, but I never worked that line, but I, I would see what they do. They would hit the button and walk away. They wouldn't even give a shit because they knew you would be out of there. You'd be out in like 45 seconds. It was like flash, blast of air, some strings, and then a goblin horn. mask. And, and you were done. Horn. And the yeah. horn, right. Yeah, how and much you're was done. That? How much it, oh, it was? It was like 50 cents. It was bullshit. Oh I mean, it's what we grew up on this thing. Yeah, yeah. Wow. My biggest regret it. was when they uh, closed that down and they auctioned everything off. We went down, remember? Yeah. And uh, I got, I was at the yeah. bar the night before. I got two, I got two, I was hungover. I didn't get there in time to bid on one of the original ski ball machines. Yeah. Uh, and that, that thing was there from like S South Beach rides. Staten Island used to be like Coney Island, our boardwalk. Back in the day, it was a destination. Thousands and thousands of people vacationed there. Yeah, there, there was like, there was like rides on the board. If you look up wow. old photos, it, it was like a legit destination. Yeah. Um, and the only remaining piece to that was yeah. South Beach Rides. Yeah, Sand Lane Amusement Park. Sand Lane Amusement Park, yeah. Yeah, I worked there two summers. And uh, and that was there until we were well into our, like, 
No, like 30s. Oh, yeah. Like oh, was it that late? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was in my 30s. I was in, I think, right? Oh, man. Like Maybe. 30? Yeah. Because I started. That's think, the fun house. That's what we're talking about. That's literally it. That's it. Pimpy, that's it. South Beach Rides. Fun house. Wow. Yeah. Those, and, and then, those, are, the, the, those that, are the exact ones. So they, there's seven of them, I think. They, they, they auctioned them off right there. Yeah. And I, when I got there, there was only two left, and I got nervous. And at the time, I didn't have that. But one was up to seven hundred and something dollars, which oh, isn't a lot. God. It's a piece of Staten Island history. Yeah. And I got nervous, and I didn't bid. And someone got it for seven something. And then then le- then it was the last one, and I was like, "F it, I'm going to do it." But since it was the last one, it went up. It went up to like like. Over a thousand dollars, like yeah. fourteen hundred, sixteen hundred, and I shot myself in the foot. I could have had it for seven hundred. I, I think about it to this day. Yeah, you should. I have memories of me and you going to that place. Like we used to go there with the tickets. Remember, we used yeah. to get the tickets. You're right. You know what then? I think? I was like, you know what I think I was? It was probably I was probably like just about like twenty to twenty nine. Yeah, I, it yeah. was. Yeah, it happened in like two thousand, right around two thousand. When did I? It was probably closed down two thousand six. Man, I used to love that place. They used to have a Pepsi Day on Wednesdays, where if you brought a Pepsi can, you got it for half price. So we, we would go on Wednesdays. Remember, the, they had no right for this, but there was two arcades across from it like there was the, the haunted house all the rides and then there was two like arcades yeah. so it was two separate ticketing places. yeah oh yeah, two yeah separate yeah. prizes one inside the park and outside the park yeah and yeah. then there was one that had a raw bar do you oh, remember the clam that? bar the clam bar yeah 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 i never i, I wouldn't I, that's not what i ate when that, i was that age yeah. but who's going in there and getting raw people did man their pizza people was did. good it was they had the really big slice uh, yeah oh I dude it. i, I love that place man anyway they paid here like we are shit. reminiscing yeah, sounds good. Sounds um, awesome. It ended in ninety nine. In ni- no, no, no. That was the no. Yeah, I, I thought it was. I was bartending. Well, well, that might have been the amusement park. The, 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 the what you're talking about. The oh, just the, just the. Yeah, you're right. You yeah, maybe right. That right. closed later. The rides closed, but the yeah. the actual um, arcade, arcade hung on a little, arcade, hung on yeah. a little bit. That was it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, there you have it. Uh, well, thanks for listening to us. Go down memory lane on that yeah, one. Yeah. If there's any Staten yeah. Islanders listening, yeah, share yeah. a memory of, of, of the rides. Uh, shout out Salsa Windfall. <laughs> Salsa Windfall, man. The Joe DeRosa side project from 2007. Look it up online. Give it a couple extra views. What is that one rating he's got there? Is that Does, does anybody give a... Uh... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, 2015. Joe got one rating. It's one star. Uh, Go ahead, read it. This is just shitty. Yuck. This uh, guy might be the most inept comedian I've ever been exposed oh, that's to. Just, that's just that's probably an ONA bullshit. Film. Yeah, that's That's not probably a, like a, on purpose. Oh, because he's not enough. He's very funny, Joe. Oh, yeah. They just, Actually, they just give the him fans shit. Go comment on Joe's old music, and let's try to get him to do a music video. Oh, oh my God. Guys, look up. great idea. Okay, look, go to Salsa Windfall <laughs> right after you finish watching this on, on YouTube. Go listen to it. Let's get his views up, his <laughs> listens, and oh. just how funny would it be if all of a sudden all his Salsa Windfall songs had like hundreds of comments? I am telling you right now that whenever we get back on the road, Right, the impractical jokes get back on the road. If someone gets a salsa windfall tattoo, oh. I am talking front row tickets, <laughs> oh front row tickets, and 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 when was the last time I've ever done a meet and greet? You, years. And I years. will not do them. I I will I will get. <laughs> will meet, oh they the will person, show up with a salsa no, windfall. People, people, our fans will get salsa windfall tattoo yeah. oh just to meet you. God. No, but they will do it. You're gonna end up meeting like a hundred people. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. If I got to meet oh, 100 they have, people, they have, <laughs> I got to do it. They have so many tattoos of us, it's not right. Yeah, but a salsa windfall one? No, no, no. But I'm saying of us, I always tell them, don't do it. Like, they'll do like they'll do sign your name and then get that tattooed. I'm like, you're going to regret it. You're going to hate me. I don't want to do it. But then there's people that get literally our faces on them. And there's people have like, you know how I have my Jadens? Yeah. If you guys don't know that, I have Jaden tattooed on Jaden Smith tattooed on both my my thighs, um, like the realistic ones. They have some of those. Wow! Someone That's got crazy. tattooed on them. I'll show you uh, my meme. Yeah. Wow. Oh, really? In in, in realistic. Uh, realistic. Oh my god! Yeah, I saw this. One of the girl has of me where, where it's like the you know, Rick, where the um, where it's me in the headband. She, I don't know why she picked this one, but it's. It's she, it's huge. Oh it's from God. here to here on her leg, and 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 she's also like very pretty. So I'm like, why would you put? Oh wow! Why would you do that? It's, I know because because at some bad point for her, at, no matter how much you love us, you love the show. At some point, that opinion is going to shift. I not that you wouldn't like not. us anymore, but that you do not want that 
on your on your. Now, did you guys yeah. see Drake's fan that got this? Oh under- my well, well, that's, god, that's crazy! So now that's- Drake Drake got mad at the tattoo artist. Drake actually put money if you go fuck up this tattoo. Art. Yeah, it was crazy. This is years ago now. Yeah. I, Why did this woman do this? You don't remember this? It was a huge thing. He no, was, but also was, she she has no other discernible tattoos. Why would she do it on her forehead? She was proud of it too. Is it forehead or for, for his forehead? Well, I don't know. Yeah. But I, I, actually, it, to go back to DeRosa's music, I think the punishment for having the worst record should be he has to open for you and only sing his music. Oh come on! <laughs> I think we make I think we make salsa would windfall to, to something real. I mean, he should. That's an easy one. We should do that. Oh my god, that's great. I I I do want to I I do want the 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 girl who has the tattoo with me on it. I I'm very flattered and thank you because I don't want to make her. Oh, feel I'm bad. thankful for all of you guys. Yeah, I just like it's, crazy. It's mind blowing to me, and, and my my response to it is more about how I feel about myself. Yes, I feel yeah. bad that you did that because I feel one day you'll will be mad at me that I'm on your body. Yeah, I don't <laughs> feel worthy to be on your body, so I I'm sorry about that. But it is a great tattoo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, um, uh, oh, we didn't do no matter what happens. I love you, did we? No, but you can end on that. Yeah. Do All we right. even need to do no, that? No, we don't need to. We do not need to do it. We don't need to do it. I'm going to go, No matter what happens, I love you. I love you, too. Um, and then you got uh, anything you want to just... Uh, it's a different Tom, episode. See, it's the same thing every every time Dude, I come. It doesn't I matter. These might be spread out, and there might be different people listening. Oh, great. Yeah, got a podcast called Tell Him Steve Dave. You can find this everywhere around. Been going for 11 years. You'll... You'll jump in. It's very intimidating to look at 500 plus episodes and uh, and think you have to. You won't catch up, but trust me, we're not doing anything you won't catch up on. Sure, it's more just knowing the characters. And so, come on, join on in. I told you, I've said it before. I love it. Um, And yeah, I guess this will be in somewhere in mid January. I'm on tour, guys. SalvalcanoComedy.com. Everything's on sale. We added second shows in Foxwoods, Albany, Detroit, Pittsburgh, Chicago. and uh, Madison, I, I believe we added second shows there. So please check that out. And if I haven't been there yet, Los Angeles, January 22nd at the Wiltern. And uh, in San Diego, J- uh, January 21st at the uh, Majestic Theater. How, how long are you in L.A. for? Uh, I got to go in and leave, come home because we're. Uh, you know, I, I can't stay. I wanted to, to do podcasts and shit, but yeah. I can't. All right. Yeah. But uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for listening. And uh, I still love you, babe. Still love you, babe. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking taste buds. Taste buds. Taste buds.